What is the oddest thing that makes you horny? Not me, but I had an ex who swore up and down that me touching her shoulders, even lightly, made her extremely horny. I thought it was funny, but she was very adamant about me not touching her shoulders when we were in public. When a guy lowers the pitch of their voice when talking to me, sometimes crossing my legs a certain way does face with tears of joy. My wife, she is extremely odd. White formal shirt on women. Heavy rain. I get a bit primal. Dunno why. My own dick. It's odd because it doesn't seem to get anyone else horny. This reminds me of this tweet from a girl who said that doing the dishes always makes her horny because her ex-boyfriend used to reward her with sex. A hangover. The wind blowing, even if it's a gentle spring breeze. When my GF says intimate things to me that aren't erotic, I don't why but my dick responds face with tears of joy. Hearing a person say words that aren't used often enough. Vocabulary for some reason is a turn on for me. Don't get me wrong, I don't get so moist in the panties that I get dehydrated when I hear it happen, but it does make me smile and I feel a tingle where it counts. LOL. My back being kissed. It doesn't even sound hot, but when there is mouth contact to my bare back, I am instantly ready to go Maui. My partner signing something. Doesn't matter what he's signing. The action is just weirdly attractive Lamaui sliding finger into that little dimple on the underside of a wine bottle never failed to give me a boner and I have no explanation why. I worked in a pub for 18 months a while ago and I had to force myself to stay away from that area. Light embarrassment in shyness. Women in formal clothes. Lingerie is cool and all. But a woman wearing a business suit? Goddamn. For me. It's just straight up good food. Probably common but still a little odd. I get so turned on when a man will whimper and moan for me. Something about how desperate it is. I love it. Skirts. Women with mousy ears who put their hair behind them. Can't help it. Curly hair. Watching my boyfriend get dressed for work. I don't know why. But when he works his way up the button down. I just want to rip it back off and... Make him late for work. Big hands on a man and having my neck touched even just a little bit. There's just something about the clack of heels on tile or wood floors. Isn't this just the definition of fetishes? This is pretty normal but just being praised. My boss doesn't even know what he's doing to me when he says, Good girl, to me at work. It's just... Ah. Eh. Also, like others have said, men moaning and whimpering. So fucking hot. Aggression. Not like punching or hitting, but like push me up against a wall and take what you want, or hold me down, something about a woman knowing what she wants and taking it. Very specifically, my husband's black dress shirt, black dress pants, with his shirt sleeves rolled up while he's either cooking or doing the dishes after a long day. Mm, his forearms. Time of day. All times of day do it for me. Sleepiness. Seeing women wear a joker necklace. Damn that is so sexy. Especially if they have a longer neck. My girlfriend gets super horny whenever I bite her or suck a thumb. When a girl is genuinely upset with me, something about that stern angry look makes me melt. Holding my pee makes me hornier than anything. Redheads. Like massively. Thank God I wasn't born in Ireland or the UK because it would be extremely distracting to say the least. White jeans on a woman, it why? Watching a guy desperate to pee. I don't know why it turns me on. It's the only small aspect of degradation that I enjoy witnessing. The squirming, moaning, and desperation. Not the pee itself. Watching my wife get dressed, I kind of like the clumsy ones. Like oh you poor thing let me help you and we can go to try not to fall off the bed again. Not me, but my ex used to get horny when I cried. Super weird. This guy feels some kind of way sometimes when people just say my name. It if there has to be some initial type of attraction there already or whatever but yeah. Makes me feel all special Maui. My wife wearing the following. Black leggings or her black PJ bottoms. A nightgown with no bra. A t-shirt, knickers, no bra combo. A specific thermal shirt with no bra, cheap shirt she got from Lidl. 
You should wear it under your normal clothes. It's see-through completely. Or her doing the following. Spreading her legs widely, when casually watching TV or her phone in the knickers on the sofa on one of our lazy weekends. Not trying to be sexy or anything. When she said, make me pregnant when we were trying for a baby one and two. I think I have a breeding kink. When someone notices anything about me. When a woman plays with her hair and she turns out to have muscles which flex like crazy from that particular type of movement. Freaking asterisk buckled. Asterisk I mean, ru h dash h u h h dash ru h dash dash asterisk r e k t. Asterisk. My wife's soft blue flannel shirt, misshapen by her generous boobage. Thunderstorms. The smell of grape chapstick. Booty shorts and stretch marks on the inside of a woman's thighs. When a woman can beat me in a video game, I'm good at. Something about getting out class just excites me. Whenever my wife calls me baby boy, I fucking melt. And I don't care where we are. I just want her to take me when she busts out with a word. Reading. I don't know why, but just sitting down to read a book will have me hot and bothered in minutes. Women in bowler hats. OMG. Fergie made it part of her look for a while and I thought I was going to break my dick off. Torn nylon tights. When a man rolls the sleeves up on his button-up shirt. When a girl takes her hair and puts it up in a big messy bun or a ponytail and shows their ears. Or when they take their hair covering their ear and sort of curl it behind their ear when they're talking to you. It's a gesture that turns me on hard. Why? Because it feels like someone wants to listen to me for the sake of listening to me. Yes, I need therapy. No, I won't go. When a woman have nice looking hands, nice nails and that stuff you name it. It why that's a thing but let me know if I'm the only one. Pale skin. Don't judge but bears. She does this this thing where she she's sitting there with her RDF and then notices I'm looking at her and her face lights up. The transition from her resting bitch face to that glow, chef's kiss. Damn, lots of dominant women and submissive men in this thread. Knee smiling face with sunglasses backhand index. Finger pointing right backhand index. Finger pointing right. Getting into bed with clean cold sheets and swishing my feet legs to take it all in lol. Does the job. Watching my wife sit at her vanity and fix her hair and makeup. She used to have a job that required her to get up early, and she'd wake up way before I would. I worked afternoons evenings as soon as I heard the click of her makeup case open, I'd wake up and just lay there and watch her. If she wore pink eyeshadow, I'd want to grab her and make her late for work. Coziness. Like seeing a girl just being herself in her pajamas. Not trying to be the prettiest girl possible by doing makeup or shaving every bit of hair on her body. In fact a bit of hair in the right places is hot F. Maybe even smelling a little bit. Oh and feet too. Damn I'm a fucking creep. Sometimes it's literally for no damn reason. Just a random stuffy coming out of nowhere. And it's usually at the worst time when he puts his body between my legs and hugs me really tight while I'm sitting and he's standing and rubs the back of my neck so comforting and soft. Freckles. I can't type, girl. Can I? Oddly. Panty lines. My first wife was shocked the first time she smelled an oil blend called Wet Dreams, which smells much like the common love spell blend. Instant tingle and dampness. Worked for me. Bought it on the spot and used it on special occasions. Long legs. A protruding Adam's apple on a man. Masculine men, i.e. big muscles deep voice. With eyeliner on. Legs. Peeing relieving myself. Apparently it's a real thing. Piss boner. Anxiety. When a woman wears a tight tank top or top and the top gets those stretch marks between her. Okay, I got one that's really weird. I started stretching my ears because I wanted to wear tunnels. The way the stretching thingy went through my ear made me really horny and still does whenever I do it. The slice of thigh between the top of the high stocking and the hem of the skirt. Yoga pants. I'm not sure how odd or uncommon it is, but successes or displays of home talent skills. People who have worked to become successful or really good at stuff, particularly if it's something competitive are really attractive. Anything.
everything my husband does. He could literally just be so focused on his game and it turns me on. Lol. I'm always crazy for him face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. A guy putting his hand on the passenger seat and looking out the back of the car to reverse.